morning. Good morning, Deb. Here I am today out um, doing a little surface drainage. We planted these beans and the beans across the road basically in dust. It was very dry. We were worried about drought. Checking the moisture depth, checking the plant depth, worried about it being too deep, too shallow, had to get it with the moisture. to get the water to flow um, off the field. I've been out here digging every couple days and my water puddle seems to get further and further away. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do and not lose a shoe. The other day I lost a shoe. So I'm taking my shoes off, going barefoot. That's probably what I'm going to do again. Beans don't like call them wet legs. They like dry legs. In any little bit of standing water, believe it or not, these plants very well may already be dead. They just don't know it yet. But we got to try to get the surface water off of them. And actually, it's kind of entertaining when I'm doing this. I think back when I was a kid and how I used to do dig and play in the mud stuff. And if I were an eight, nine year old kid, I think this would be the best thing ever. I'm a grown man just trying to save the crop. It's not a lot, but nonetheless, your most productive land is in the low spots. And um, so that's what we're trying to do, just trying to get water off of. The problem is, too, the last few rains we've had have come so hard so fast. It's rained, I think, five days in a row now, like clockwork at six, seven o'clock at night which is really good for over there, over there, wheat. Our wheat fields are loving it because they're flowering, setting grain, and these little tenth, two tenths inches of rain we've been getting literally every night are awesome for wheat. Not so awesome for dry beans. That's one of the benefits to having crop rotation. Good for the ground, but it's also good for not having all your one eggs in one basket, as they say. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've been doing this last three, four days, different areas of the field, especially here by this turbine path turbine path just blocks all the surface drainage obviously and I gotta get some more flow here uh, I don't know if I can get to the one way over there but uh, I'm gonna take my shoes off and give it a try to get way over there that one has probably got uh, maybe an acre here ruined. Um, it's basically poor management on my part. Didn't think about ditching it when it was dry because hey, it ain't gonna rain or a drought. And time factor too, we were so busy doing first cutting alfalfa and dry beans, we just never got to it. The ditcher hooked up and everything, just never got around to it, unfortunately. Should have made time. We will next year. Talk to you soon.